Oh, this is the Grinch. Yeah, that's the Grinch. Wow, get the, like the grease is on your hands. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this fans are like, all kind of weighing in on everything Paulie D did with us. How much do you think? It, I don't know. Probably this is there's just people throw anything at the wall with Twitter. They'll say anything, things that they would never say to your face. That's good and bad. Because, you know, you, how much do you trust that? And on the other side, boy, wouldn't you want to trust someone who would think could get their unvarnished opinion? The temperature of the audiences, do they, do they think something's important or not? I can base that more so on social media than I could before. You were flying blind before. Now you used to have a gauge of what people are talking about at the Grammys. When Lady Gaga did her song, Twitterverse went crazy of the Madonna comparison. So you knew right then that was a hot topic. We needed to make sure we hit that on the show. Her song was controversial, many feeling it was too close to Madonna's Express Yourself. When the Christina Aguilera had that little fall, a couple of people noticed they Twittered it. On this wide shot, you can see her nearly fall down. When um, the Justin Bieber dancer fell. Even with his dancer's misstep on this slip, he's okay. If there's opinions on things that are one way or the other, then you know it's something you probably want to include in your show. The TV used to be one way, you know? On the other side, people turn it on and they watch. And it's a one-way communication. Twitter, Facebook, all these things make it a two-way. I mean, like helpful stuff for people, you know? Um, you cut your hair, I'll tell you, they go nuts. <laughs> Holes are another good way of... Of, of gauging interest. Judging by our poll, most of you would never choose the dress for court, as 78% say it was inappropriate for the occasion. We do a poll on, on the website, and the talent tweets it out or sends it out in, in whatever social media way that they want, and we get 10,000 people responding to it. That's a big poll. If we get 200 people responding to it, that's a small poll. There's a good chance that 10,000 are is going to make the show or 200 or won't. Celebrities, for the first time ever, you can get them unvarnished, okay? You can them their true feelings on things. And it really helps when they've had a couple of drinks in the system, okay? Because then they'll not tweet anything. How many times they show that we use a tweet now that somebody tweeted out about something? Watch out, Sue Sylvester. Watch out. Diane wasn't kidding. <laughs> Writing on Twitter, it's on. As a former rejected Seneca JV wannabe cheerleader, I'll meet you in the gym. Bring the cannon. Never one to back down. Sue responded, bring it on, Diane Sawyer. Your next gig will be hosting Good Morning Emergency. <laughs> to me, that's, that, that's more of a true illustration of how they feel than a lot of the interviews that we do with them when there's a publicist standing right next to them and they have to say the, the PC thing. I think if you can't say in the 140 characters, then it probably isn't, you know, that poignant a point. place to make ski accessories. I think that's ridiculous. Did you know that Florida has the highest population of skiers? We make golf year round, but that doesn't mean we don't know how to make genius ski products. This is an arm mat. There's a lot of science and wizardry that goes into making it, but basically, it's a map on an arm. Even in Florida, I know where the best runs are in Aspen. Is this arm map waterproof? Of course it is. Does this arm map taste good? This arm map's delicious. Is it durable? It's like Captain America's shield. No matter how lost you are, you just need to find your arm.